as you can see here, I already have an identical battery sitting here. And if you saw my last video, you may be wondering why I'm doing another video about this Wise battery. Well, the folks over at Wise saw my last video where I did a capacity test on the 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery after I'd been using it daily for about a year to see how much degradation it had in that time. The results were pretty impressive on that test, and they were kind enough to send me over another one of their 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries so I could do a few other kinds of tests and experiments for the channel. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and take a look over the manual here, which I couldn't really do in the last video because I lost the manual at some point over the last year. And then we're going to put this on the charger until we get a full charge. And then we'll start off with a capacity test on this brand new battery. And then I'm going to show you how to top balance the batteries and connect the two of them together in parallel. So be sure to stick around for that part if you're not sure how that's done. If you haven't seen my other video of this battery, I'll leave a link to it on the end screen of this video, and you can see how the results of that test came out after the battery had been used for a year. So first, let's go ahead and take the, off these protective covers, which are really nice. The lugs. So there's two 8 millimeter lugs, M8 bolts, and then two protective caps. So we'll go ahead and get those on there. All right, so let's take a look at this manual here. I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell and get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. Table of contents. The battery specifications. We're going to go over that from here. The battery dimensions. Battery management system, charging parameters, discharging parameters, data charge, a little diagram of connecting in series or parallel and then in series, some discharge curve graphs. It's always interesting to look at. So, of course, it's 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, which is equivalent to 1280 watt hours. The charge voltage is 14.4 volts, 14.6 is the max. The charging uh, current is 100 amps max, but the standard is 50 amps to 100 amp max. The continuous peak discharge is 100 amp, and it can handle 200 amps only for three seconds. And this does not have low temperature protection, so you cannot charge this below freezing. If you want that sort of thing, you're going to have to pay a lot more money than what you're going to pay for this. And the discharge uh, temperature, negative 20 to plus 60 Celsius. All right, we're going to use this HTRC charger. It's a uh, P30 model to get things charged up. It's a really cool charger, and I'll make another video about it in the future because it's just kind of outside the scope of what we're doing today. So let me hook this up, charge it up, and I'll be right back after that's done. So as you may or may not know, we live in our fifth wheel toy hauler and use our garage as our office slash uh, test bench here. And in the middle of this review video, I got my new shelf unit, which makes a huge difference when you're living in such a tight space. So I thought I'd go ahead and show that off real quick before we continue this video. There's a little sneak peek at what's coming up soon. And then uh, this here is our Mango Power E which is what we're going to use for our load on our load test coming up here as we're just going to charge our battery uh, charge our mango power e with the output from our inverter to run this battery test so anyway, i just thought i would show this is going to make a world of difference for me to be able to store batteries and all these sorts of things i have all kinds of gear that needs to go somewhere when you're in a tight space Having a shelf unit really is a big deal. Let's get back on with the test here. All right, let's go ahead and get these battery cables switched over and uh, get this test started.
my inverter conked out on me right here at this point so I had to I was just running too big of a load so I switched to a, a smaller load to see what else we can squeeze out of this it's looking like 100.12 and we're gonna call it there I don't want to trigger a complete disconnect so it, it definitely passed All right, so that wraps up the testing portion of this video. I'd hope for a little bit more than that out of this battery, but I can't really 100% say that it's the battery because I did have an issue with my inverter for a minute there. And uh, as long as it passed, it's over 100 amp hours, it passed the test. But I, I do believe that it probably would have got a little bit more juice in there if I hadn't had the problem with my inverter. As I said, uh, we're doing some upgrades in here and uh, part of that is we're going to be replacing this inverter with another one and this charge controller and like I said this is a test bench for this YouTube channel basically so over time we're going to be growing this out and doing uh, some upgrades and we're going to share that with you along the way uh, I said at the beginning of the video to go ahead and stick around to the end if you wanted to see how to connect these in parallel so if you want to see that you're going to want to go ahead and go click on this next video right here where I'll go over how to connect 12 volt batteries in series and in parallel. And I'll see you in the next video.